the chicken, um, the condensed chicken soup, onion, and all of that. This is what it has been cooking in the whole time. Um, and also some butter. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken back in this broth. <laughs> chicken and dumplings so i was seeing people on tiktok eat it over mashed potatoes so that looked appetizing to me so i made some mashed potatoes with butter put those at the bottom and then i put the um chicken and dumplings on top of it with a little bit of parsley so this is what it looks like looks delish yeah girl can cook so yeah i'm gonna eat this and finish my drink and then I'll see you guys later. Alright y'all, so I'm about to take a nice a bubble bath. And I'm going to bring you guys with me slightly. But I want to make myself a little drink. So I showed y'all this before. Y'all know I have these Alani seltzers. This one is Mimosa 5% alcohol. But y'all, I'm just not a seltzer girl. But I found how I like it. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and open up this seltzer. That's my bath water running, y'all. So I like it if I add some seltzer to a glass and then top it off with a juice. So I'm gonna be using the Tampico Zero Sugar Citrus Punch that I got from Dollar Tree. And this is bomb. So you have a low carb alcoholic beverage that's tasty. I didn't use the whole can. I used about half the can, and the can is two carbs. So I'm just gonna top it off, and I still have some left. But yeah, it's gonna be my little drink. channel so judging by the title y'all already know we're about to have a little girl talk and we're about to talk about mental health mental health is super important to me i don't talk about it on my platform but i definitely know that it's important and i really try to make sure my mental health is on point and for me mental health means a plethora of things um while we talk about mental health i thought that i could do a face mask Y'all, my voice is going away, and I don't know where it is, so bear with me and my voice. I just took a relaxing bubble bath, which y'all saw in the previous clips, and I've been sipping on a mocktail, well, cocktail that I made. Um, so today, I'm going to be doing the K-Bella Hydrating Hemp and Coconut Cream Mask. This mask is enriched with organic hemp seed oil and coconut water, and it smooths and hydrates. I have this little applier that I think I got from Dollar Tree or something, and I love it because you can just scoop out the mask and put it on your face. So yeah, y'all, before we even get into this video, I do want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, and it's an app called Shut Eye. And Shut Eye is an app that allows you to sleep and also allows you to relax. And I think sleeping properly and relaxing is definitely um, important for your mental health, um, for me at least. And this app has a variety of tracks, so many different tracks that you can listen to to relax, so many different sounds, rainfall, all type of sounds. I'll put some clips of the app on the side of the screen, but I absolutely love the app. I think that it is so important to get like proper sleep and to just, take care of ourselves um 
especially right now when the holidays, I know myself included, have been experiencing like seasonal depression and a lot of people go through it and it's very traumatic. I know for me at least these these months definitely um, make me want to eat more and just hang out and party and I want to say between November and December I just want to eat, hang out, relax, have fun, and my goals kind of slip like every single year. And then I see myself gaining weight. I'm not as happy with my physique as I was before. So then I start just talking about, I need to get back on track. I need to get back on track. Y'all, I literally say that every single day. And it's so annoying to say that, but at the same time, it's just like, this is how I'm feeling. I'm feeling fat, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that. I know I'm not the only one because it's normal. Y'all, this mask goes on very, very smooth. I like it a lot. But yeah, I just wanted to come and just kind of, you know, give everybody kind of a safe place to talk in the comments just about how you guys doing, how's your mental health, how are you feeling? Are you taking care of yourselves? Um, this is also a very stressful time because you're trying to get gifts for everybody. You're trying to make sure you have enough money for your kids and friends and relationships and your parents. And, you know, I just think the holidays are special, but they're also very stressful because you're focused on trying to make everybody else happy and trying to have fun. Yeah, I got this mask everywhere. This mask is a little bit tingly, so I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be doing or what. But yeah, I just wanted to create kind of like a safe space to kind of like talk in the comments. Let me know how you guys are feeling. I know y'all often check on me. Y'all often leave me messages. So I just wanted to take a little time to say hello, let y'all know that you're not alone. Seasonal depression is very real. Um, mental health is very real. And like I said, I have been using and experimenting with the app and it's called Shut Eye. And like I said, it definitely has a lot of sounds and just um, meditation that you can do. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna leave this on for 15 minutes with y'all. This is Tango. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of let this mask do its thing. But like I was saying, please, let's talk in the comments. Let's chat it up because I know for one, like in all of my vlogs, at least the last three or four, I have kind of been telling you guys like how I've been feeling about like struggling with my eating. And I know it doesn't just relate to fitness for me, but I'm just picking a topic and fitness for me, I feel like I've been struggling with. And not fitness so much because I still go to the gym, but just my eating, y'all. My eating has been all out of whack and you know, it allows me and makes me slip into a depression because I can't get a hold of it. I can't control it. And it's just stressing me out. And I just wanted to take time to come and just talk and just open up the doors and let y'all know, y'all can talk to me. This is a safe place. Um, I'm dealing with my mental health in various different ways. Like I said, trying to meditate, trying to sleep more, trying to, trying to eat better, trying to just do all type of things that I know I should be doing. But with seasonal depression, I'm slipping in and slipping out. And, um, y'all let me know down below, do y'all struggle with seasonal depression? And if y'all do, what are some of the things that you do to kind of climb out of it? I know I do like a lot of self-care and I try to take care of myself and try to make myself feel good and that's another thing I have been slacking on because typically I would be getting like my eyelashes done and stuff like that and I just haven't because I just haven't felt like it and then on top of that I've been working extremely hard so I've been too tired to go to the gym so y'all are not alone like I deal with some of the same things that you guys are dealing with and I just wanted you guys to know that it's safe here um, it's a safe place to just come and talk and 
I am the type of person that believes in therapy and I am seeking therapy. So if you guys go to therapy, let me know, has it helped you? Um, do you wish you wouldn't have went? Because I do think therapy is beneficial if you find the appropriate therapist for you. And that's another thing that I'm looking into. I'm just trying to do better, like going into 2021 with my mental health. And, you know, after the holidays, of course, I often slip back into me and I'm no longer like seasonally depressed but at the same time getting through these months yeah I look like I'm having fun and I am having fun and I am loving life but at the same time deep down inside I'm just like I don't need to eat that I don't need to do that and I just want to get to like a point in life where I'm not so focused on how I look what I eat and so on and so forth so I just wanted to come like really quickly and just touch on mental health and depression and seasonal depression because if you have no one to talk to you can definitely slip into depression and one thing can lead to another so i definitely wanted to just open up that door y'all know y'all can dm me y'all can leave messages down below i'm always here to talk because it's important to have somebody to talk to so if you guys enjoyed talking to me if you guys have questions, if you want me to do a part two, if you guys want me to do a Q&A, please let me know down below. And that's all I wanted. I just wanted to let you guys know that the door is open. Seasonal depression is real. Depression is real. Mental health is real. And I'm here for y'all to talk to. So without, with all that being said, I love y'all. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm going to go wash this mask off because it's burning. I love y'all and I'll see you guys in the next video.